just to start things off, I'm a political science major, so I find these things really interesting. Uh, and I'm, the, the, the purpose of this speech really isn't to persuade you towards one party or another, more just to present the issue that's going on in Washington and why it's important to all of you. So this is how this is how Congress is spending your money. Um, and the biggest, you can, see, yeah, you can see my mouse, the biggest thing you, that, that um, is important right here is this middle graph. And this is how much uh, debt we currently owe. Um, and this is to China, Japan, tons of other countries. Um, and as you can see, it's not getting any better. It's certainly going up. Um, and we are just about to breach $14 trillion. So, and then each, each of these things on the left is where the money's going um, and how much it's increased over the years. It's a little, it's a little squash, it's kind of hard to see, but the main thing is that we're getting deeply into debt and it's not getting any better. You owe the government $46,000. That's right. If the government was to pay off its debt today, each and every single one of you would have to pay $46,000, which means that collectively, the students in this room owe the government over 600 grand. And that's not including the taxes that we already owe. This seemingly insurma insurmountable mountain of debt is not our fault, yet we will be, as American citizens, held responsible for fixing this problem through taxes if the problem does not get resolved. What's the cause of this dilemma? Simply put, overspending by the government and unwillingness to cut down on such spending. The United States of America currently, currently owes almost $14 trillion. Now, people have a hard time putting that into perspective, so let me help you. One trillion dollars is a thousand billion. A billion dollars is a thousand million. Our government is in debt 14, 14,000 billion dollars. In my lifetime, I'll be ecstatic if I can, if I can accumulate a million dollars. In, in comparison to how much the United States owes, that is one 14 million of the U.S. debt. The U.S. debt is climbing every single day. On average, it rises over $4 billion a day. And it's important not, not to confuse spending with debt. There's a big difference. This $4, billion, uh, this $4 billion increase does not mean that the government is simply spending $4 billion. It means it's, spe it's spending $4 billion a day. It means it's spending $4 billion over its budget every day. The source of this debt is a combination of multitude, multitude <coughs> of debt including liabilities to healthcare, to Medicare, Social Security, and of course, the wars overseas. Uh, and then let me show you another diagram. Uh, this is all the revenue and total spending in the United States. Uh, so as you can see, this bar here is the revenue. This is how much money we're bringing in, um, mostly from income taxes, your parents' money, um, and then corporate income taxes, a bunch of other stuff. And then this is how much is being spent. Um, and mostly this is going to, almost a trillion dollars going every year is going to defense, um, other, other discretionary spending, which is, which is things that we don't necessarily have to spend on. And then all these down here are mandatory, things we have to, things we have to give about money to, like soldiers, um, wages, things like that. So Social Security, Social Security Medicare, Medicaid. Um, and these, the, the, and total spending each year outweighs total revenue by $1.27 trillion. And this, this is happening every single year. We are, we are spending $1.27 trillion more than we're bringing in. Oops. It's almost become a joke. How many trillions of dollars are we in debt today? The government is making few serious attempts to fix this problem. With each passing day, countries like Japan, like Japan and China own a larger stake of the United States. This is due to the fact that these countries uh, have actually purchased America's debt. They profit each year as the United States pays back its loan. Now, you would assume that because we were paying China back on its, on its loan, that the amount that we actually owe to China would be going down. This is not true. We are only paying back China on the interest that, that, that we owe them, not the actual principal itself. China is happily sitting back and collecting checks every year from the interest that the United States owes them. So what can we do? The strongest power that we have as a citizen, is to vote. Voice your opinion with your vote. On both sides of the aisle, parties claim to, parties claim to be making efforts to balance the budget and reduce unne unnecessary spending. Problems arise as legislators greatly disagree on where and how much to cut spending. On the whole, Republicans want, tend to want to cut far more than Democrats do, primarily from health care, transportation, and a bit from education. Democrats aren't having any of that. They want to keep money flowing through the, through the government to run social programs like Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, 
welfare, and privately run programs like, plan, like Planned Parenthood. The debt ceiling is another issue separating the two parties. If you don't know, the debt ceiling is a limit to how much money our government can be in debt imposed by Congress. Three times in the past decade, Congress has voted to increase the debt ceiling, allowing for further spending to take place. Democrats want to raise the debt ceiling, for, while Republicans want to keep it where it's at. If you want to ensure that this spending gets taken care of, take action and vote. We're all 18 in this room. There's no reason for, for all of us not to vote in 2012. Find out everything that you can about where each candidate stands on, on spending. If politicians do not feel that people are concerned over this debt, they will ignore it. It may sound pessimistic, but more than anything, political leaders want to remain in power. They understand how the voting system works and the significance of the ballot. They tend to focus on the issues that they feel will get them reelected versus what's important to us. Make sure your, your, your voice is heard. You can email legislatures, attend town hall meetings, whatever you can do to let them know that this is important to you. To sum it all up, our government has a spending problem, and it's not getting any better. With each passing day, we are spending more and more and becoming more dependent on foreign countries. The elephant in the room just keeps, going, keeps on getting bigger. The United States has plenty of revenue coming in. Raising taxes is not the solution to the problem. If we cut spending considerably, we can make huge efforts to reduce the debt and the interest that is accumulating with each passing day. It's our future. It's about, it's about time we let Washington know it. <coughs> Any questions? Should you register to vote the day you turn 18? Uh, no, I have not. I, sh I, I know I should have. Um, but I'm definitely planning on voting in 2012. Anybody else? 